In Thailand, the word for... Yes, is that. That's the word for marrow. What is this? Prick. Well, for Richard Hammond, maybe, but... Prick. <laughs> Are all your words rude? Tits. Arse.
Clear? Right. It would need to be practically So reverse twice it through. And Richard's out. So, <laughs> oh, bollocks! <laughs> it's, not, it's not long enough. <laughs> right. Okay, turn over. Frame, um, Richard's out. Uh, you saw your hand coming out. Oh, Try again. All right. All right, one last go. Can't do it on this one, we're not doing it. You out, Richard? Slow, James. Don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a fucking shot. I thought, I thought you were going to go there. <laughs> Good, okay, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so once we, once we get the rain machine sorted, we'll, uh, we'll turn over. Is that the better? I've turned it down to 10% yeah, down. Yeah, that's cool, 10%. So that's what, down to 70, yeah? 70, but well, I've covered the whole of the area, is that oh, right? Cool. Okay, turn over. When I'm on location, I drink 100 plus, the isotonic drink for all your isotonic needs. That car going past is the man from the Ministry of something or other, and he's in charge of stuff. And uh, it's day three in the post, and what's happened is okay, Richard, and, uh, there was an argument basically because Jeremy filled all the back oh, of his truck so with heavy things right, to make the ride way. more tolerable, and uh, as a result, yeah, it became slower than James mm -hmm. normally is. Just keeping my eye out, and um, he tipped. He kept stopping on hills, they kept getting annoyed. And then Jeremy tipped all this stuff out, but it was in the middle of the road. So James and Richard couldn't get past. Then when Jeremy pulled away, his whole tailgate broke off. Now what's worse than a whole tailgate breaking off is half a tailgate breaking off. So now he's driving around with a tailgate that looks like somebody wearing a bow tie when they're drunk, because it's just sticking up in the air. I had a treat this morning. I treated myself to a fresh load of clothes, but um, they're not fresh anymore because it's about 40 degrees already. So, uh, yeah, they're not really fresh anymore. But, um, there we go. You see that over there? Check shirt. That is a sinus with a bandana on its head, right there. He denies, you could ask everyone in the world who's ever shared a room with him, does James May snore? Yes. You ask the man who's sleeping at the time, no, I don't, I'm perfect. Look at him. I've had a very good night's sleep. Yeah, unlike everyone who was within 100 yards of him. My hammock was slung between two land cruisers. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry. One of them had somebody sleeping in it, he wriggled a lot. <laughs> so I've had a... Look, so my hands are clean, yeah? Yeah. No, they're not. I had to dry the stuff off. It's coming in, it's coming in. There he is. He's there. Look. That's what he looks like.
I like the colour of mine a lot. Well, I'm not going to call it safety, I'm going to be more Buddhist about it. I've made it more auspicious, which means it will be luckier. It's also got lucky elephant, lucky owl, it's got Buddha on it. It's got a brake cooling system, everything to ensure more lights, everything to ensure that I don't run over anybody. That is my ambition for this trip, to get to the end having not run over a local or anybody, except Jeremy. I don't mind if I run over him, but you know what I mean? I really don't want to have an accident. So everything is really skewed towards that, including the high visibility jacket paint though, which means that, well, we know this from BBC News readers, no harm can come to you if you're wearing that. You can stand in front of a runaway train, you'll be fine. It actually looks quite forlorn, doesn't it? We need a name for my bear. Um, come on, Lucas, no. Come on. This is, I hate this bit of the day. I hate this man. Go, go on, call do it him quick, do it quickly. Him. Take it too long. Okay. It's like sedating a bear. Small bear, obviously. Maybe a rabbit. Miracles of modern TV. Yeah. You can barely see it yeah. that I'm wearing a mic. You wouldn't know. It's called the, in, the Invisi bag. Yeah, yeah. But the good thing is, when I'm sitting on a completely hard church pew, I hardly notice it's there myself, apart from it's ruined both of my kidneys and my spine. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we're always there for you, Richard. Oh, well, you're always there. <laughs>
Petrol station disco, <laughs> waiting for a car that's been broken down. <laughs> oh yeah, here they go. to see that going on. <laughs> oh, they're occupying themselves. <laughs> Where do you reckon we should stick a GoPro? Uh, what's it for? Um, what angle do you want? We're going to get any angle that yeah. can't be got by what the main cameras. Yeah. Underneath them. Andrew, you're going to stick it somewhere where oh, the, right. the sun doesn't shine. Andrew, how many GoPros have you come out with? Uh, we've come out with 43. And how many do you think we'll go back with? Six. What happened last time? Here we are, day zero. We've been out doing uh, GVs and scenics around uh, Yangon. And uh, we're about to head off 12 days into the unknown. So this is the, it's the base camp of Everest, as a metaphor, uh, where we get all our shit together the night before we go away. Everywhere he points that camera now, you'll see man things going on. Um, that being folded. These are the trucks. Can't see much there. But all this stuff has got to be neater than this. This looks like a student bed sit at the moment. It won't in an hour. I'm doing everything. Everyone else is doing bugger all all day. So I've got to tidy all that. I've got to change all the tires on all the trucks. I've got to fix the brakes on that. I've got to lift the generators single-handed onto the back of that truck. Uh, film everything. It's a bit of a job, but we'll get through it. What do you want? I refuse to do behind the scenes. Excellent. I'm, I'm, not, I'm denying all knowledge that I was here for any of it. <laughs> If you've just joined us, if you've just joined us and we're trying to cross a river, we will be doing it in lorries, but right now I'm doing it in a shirt and tie. Problem. Problem here. We still want to be looking. I'm not. Now this is odd. This is really odd. Hammond, how's that it's possible? Too deep. Too deep. Listen, I'm going to entertain you with a story about a wet vest competition <laughs> I once run in Burma. <laughs> Why have you stopped? Oh! 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 That is a whopper! Isn't it? That is supper. Oh, uh, that, oh I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm very unhappy! Oh! Oh, I'm so unhappy! Look at the size of oh, that! That is enormous! Don't do anything funny to me with those, honestly, because I will, I'll, I'll die. Ah! 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 Even I don't like those. Yes. Oh! 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 That's got That's a violent a tendency. Uh, uh, it's uh, got eight legs. I'm going to go home, quickly. I'm going to panic. Song Bravia television. I've got a Song Bravia television as well. And, the, and I think I've got a Song radio. Oh, that's fantastic. It's brilliant. What else have they got? <laughs> <laughs>